Fakir Mada Salam, Ya Rudi Salam, Onin Bika Tamam, Bika Murta, Matoro Nangil, Jalam Ya, Jalam Ya, Diyunumi, Netalau, Netalau, Kejejen, Netalau, Netalau, Abu Ba, Salam Ya, Salam Ya, Matakore, Jalam Ya, Mama, Salam Ya. Take, sol fakir jalam take, jalam take, yang majar jalam take, jalam take, wanita jalam take, jalam take, taban tengga jalam take, sol fakir mada salam, ya rudi salam, onin bika tamam bika murta, motoron anjil jalam ya, jalam ya, diunumi. Betalau, betalau, bejejen, betalau, betalau, Abu Ba salam ya, salam ya, mata kore salam ya, mama salam ya. Ceremony, where you know you cannot greet yourselves. ما حصل قبل كده لكن فرض نفسه علينا and we pray that they know it will not come to South Sudan فنحنو نبدأ شوكل بتانا the minister of presidential affairs to come and read out the decrees of the president which are now the instruments for which you here will be sworn in. Republican decree number 33 2020 for the appointment of national ministers in the revitalized transitional government of national unity 2020 AD. Title and commencement. This decree shall be cited as a Republican decree number 33, 2020, for the appointment of national ministers in the revitalized transitional government of national unity, 2020 AD, and shall come into force on the date of its signature by the President of the Republic. The decree. In exercise of the powers conferred upon me under Article 101D, of the transition constitution, transitional constitution of the Republic of South Sudan, 2011, as amended, I, Salfa Mayadid, President of the Republic of South Sudan, do here by issue this decree, this Republican decree for the appointment of the national ministers in the revitalized transitional government of national unity, with the effect from the 12th of March 2020 here under. Honorable Dr. Martin Ilya Lomoro, Cabinet Affairs. Honorable Angelina Teng, Defense and Veteran Affairs. Honorable Paul Mayoma Cage, Interior. Honorable Stephen Parkwall, Peace Building. Honorable Justice Ruben Madol Arol, Justice and Constitutional Affairs. Honorable Mobote Mamur Mete, National Security. Honorable Jema Nunu Kumba, Parliamentary Affairs. Honorable Michael McQuillwet, Information, Communication, Technology, and Postal Services. Honorable Lasuba L. Wango, Federal Affairs. Honorable John Luke Jock, East African Community Affairs. Honorable Salvatore Garangma Biodit, Finance and Planning. Honorable Port Gang Chol, Petroleum. Honorable Henry Odela Odwal, Mining. Honorable Josephine Joseph Lago, Agriculture and Forestry. Honorable Onyote Adigo Nyakwach, Livestock and Fisheries. Honorable Kualatian Mawien, Trade and Industry. 
Honorable Josephine Napon, Cosmos, Environment and Forestry. Honorable Manao Peter Garquat, Water Resource and Irrigation. Honorable Michael Chandiak, Gay Mood, Land, Housing and Urban Development. Honorable Rizik Zakaria Hassan, Wildlife, Conservation and Tourism. Honorable Dr. Dio Matok Ding, Investment. Honorable Dinai Jok Chagor, Higher Education, Science and Technology. Honorable Awud Deng Achuil, General Education and Instruction. Honorable Elizabeth Achue Yol, Help. Honorable Babagazi Jose Bakosoro, Public Service, Human Resource, and Human Resource Development. Honorable James Othmai, Labor. Honorable Peter Marcelo Nasir Jelenge, Energy and Dams. Honorable Madud Biar Yol, Transport. Honorable Simon Mijak, Mijak, Roads and Bridges. Honorable Aya Benjamin Warele, Gender, Child and Social Welfare. Honorable Peter Mayan Majungdit, Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management. Honorable Nadia Arup Dudi, Culture, Museum and National Heritage. Honorable Dr. Albino Boldio, Youth and Sports. Issue under my hand and seal of the Republic of South Sudan in Juba this 12th day of the month of May of March in the year 2020. Sign Salfa Kirmayadid, President, Republic of South Sudan, Juba. The Republic of South Sudan. Republican Decree Number 34, 2020 for the appointment of deputy ministers in the revitalized transitional government of national unity, 2020 AD. Title and commencement. This decree shall be cited as a Republican decree number 34, 2020, for the appointment of deputy ministers in the revitalized transitional government of national unity, 2020 AD, and shall come into force on the date of its signature by the President of the Republic. The decree. In exercise of the powers conferred upon me under Article 101D of the Transitional Constitution of the Republic of South Sudan, 2011, as amended, I, Kir Mayadid, President of the Republic of South Sudan, do hereby issue this Republican decree for the appointment of deputy ministers in the revitalized Transitional Government of National Unity with the effect from the 12th of March, 2020, here under, as here under. Honorable Ding Ding Akon, Cabinet Affairs. Honorable Ding Dao Ding, Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation. Honorable Malik Ruben Riak, Defense. Honorable Joseph Malik Arop, Justice and Constitutional Affairs. Honorable Agok Makur Kur, Finance and Planning. Honorable Lili Albino Akon, Agriculture and Food Security. Honorable Martin Taco Moy, General Education and Instruction. Honorable Khalid Butrus, Public Service and Human Resource Management. Honorable Baba Medan Konyi, Information, Communication, Technology and Postal Services. Issue under my hand and seal of the Republic of South Sudan in Juba this 12th day of the month of March in the year 2020. Sign, Salfa Mayadid, President, Republic of South Sudan, Juba. Unity, under Article 101D, 102, 112, uh, at, uh, sub Article 5, and Article 113, of the Transitional Constitution of the Republic of South Sudan, uh, 2011, as amended. Now, everybody, so now you come after me, you, 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 you go after me, I read it, and when I say I, you say your name, uh, and then you follow me. I. 
Do hereby swear by the Almighty God that as a minister of shall be faithful and bear true faith and allegiance to South Sudan and shall diligently and honestly discharge my duties and responsibilities and strive to foster the development and welfare of its people. That I shall obey, preserve and defend the Constitution and abide by the law and that I shall protect and promote the unity of the people of South Sudan and consolidate the, de uh, the democratic system of government and preserve the integrity and dignity of the people of South Sudan. So help me God. Now it is the turn for the deputy ministers. I'll just do the same, and every one of you have seen it also. Uh, but I will have to also ask if there is anybody who, who cannot uh, vote. Do hereby swear by the God that as a deputy minister of I shall be faithful and bear true faith and allegiance to South Sudan. I shall be faithful and bear true faith and allegiance to South Sudan. And shall diligently and honestly discharge my duties. And shall diligently and honestly discharge my duties. And responsibilities and strive to foster the development and the welfare and welfare of its people. That I shall obey, preserve and defend the Constitution and abide by the law, and that I shall protect and promote the unity of the people of South Sudan and consolidate the unity of the people of South Sudan and consolidate the democratic system of government, the democratic system of the government and preserve the integrity and dignity of the people of South Sudan. And preserve the dignity and So help me God. I mean. And so that you succeed in your duties as you have made your oath in front of us here. So, as the head of the government, uh, I will work with you together and to see into it that we are doing the right thing. Let me give you an opportunity if there is a minister representing the rest of you to say something before we continue. Mr. President, on behalf of my, all my colleagues, let me thank you for endorsing the recommendations of our parties to the Artigono. I also want to thank the chairpersons of the various parties the agreement for recommending us to represent their various parties in the Artigono. Mr. President, this government's duty and responsibility is defined in the agreement. And I believe you are interested in us to implement the agreement in letter and spirit. I call upon my colleagues to please be conversant of the various articles, and especially relevant articles, to their responsibilities as ministers and deputy ministers. 
I also call on my colleagues to cooperate with the deputy ministers as they are equally important and are legally required to run the ministry in conjunction with yourselves. Mr. President, this is an opportunity you've given us as ministers to work for our country, to clean our faces that have been tarnished by international conflict that everybody de describes as unnecessary. Mr. President, we recognize that our people have suffered for so long in the last five years, and we are required and expected to serve this pe our people this time round. We are to achieve peace, permanent peace, and not return to war again forever. This, we believe, is the mandate that you gave us, uh, some of us who are your negotiators, to achieve. I know you have sacrificed and have done political declinations that were hard and painful, but you did it, as, as you told us, for the sake of peace for the people of South Sudan, who you always describe as those who elected you. And you have always said to us, it's hurtful to see them in IDP camps and refugee and as refugees. We believe, Mr. President, all this team, from now on, they are your team, they are ministers, and you will see them and talk to them as your ministers as they conduct their duty. Mr. President, I thank you, and I thank the Vice President, First Vice President, and the four Vice Presidents, and the members, and chairpersons of political parties that entrusted us to, to do this job with you. Thank you, sir. <music>